everybody back with another Nintendo versus repair I can't remember exactly where I got this board from but I had already cleaned the board and put in a Nintendo Golf I think and I noticed that there was no red so I'm actually gonna show you that real quick and get a screwdriver so you can see that there's there's a screen right there and if I crank the green see you can see how it changes and you can actually get the the green lines to show up so that's normal and then if I crank the blue I'll get blue lines showing up and that's basically normal and this is the red see I'm just adjusting these pots right here if I crank the red all the way up get nothing so I've done a video on this I'll link to it real quick basically we're gonna check the color the red line coming out of the PPU and then it goes into one of these chips over here and then eventually it comes in to this LA 324 or this 4066 so there's two pairs here and I'll figure it out I have to look at the schematic and then there's these transistors too so that's what we're gonna look at let me get the schematic out okay so we're gonna look at 8F the PPU um, 14 is red 15 is green 16 is blue and 21 is some type of sync signal that's 20 19 18 17 16 that's what you get on the basically barely a volt peak to peak right there and the frequency is obviously changing and that's 15 which is green and then that's blue I mean that's a uh, red which does look somewhat different or does it Uh, there's activity so I assume it looks okay let's am I on plus 10 times 10 let's increase this here 19 18 Alright, that's, I just uh, adjusted the volts per division, that's red, that's green, and that is blue. So yeah, they pretty much all look the same, so I'm going to pause and then we're going to trace it from here and then it comes into this section over here. Okay, so... I just drew it out. This is the CMOS switch. It's a 4066. And I covered this in my other video, but I figured I'd look at it again. If it makes sense for me, or it'll make more sense for me the second time, I'm sure. Um, anyway, basically, the sync and I think red, that's why it's called S red, um, with a, you know, um, a line over top because it's negative sync and red probably combined coming into 12 um, and then you have this amplifier boosting up number the 10 the input on 10 and you can see on this here's my um, my little correlation on the 4066 so basically pins 10 11 and 12 are all going to switch D the 4066 is four switches, A, B, C, and D, but we're only looking at really um, D and B for the most part. But pins 10, 11, and 12 is switch D. 12 is the sync coming in, is the control. 11 and 10 are input outputs. Um, and then you have 
on the other side three four and five five is the sink coming in and three and four are the input output so let's look at blue which is 12 pin 12 on our blue right there and you can see I have 15 kilohertz and then if I move it to 11 that's the output basically because that's pin 11 that's basically going to the game PCB or going to the um, the rest of the output to the circuit and then you have pin 10 which is coming from the amplifier and now if we go to 2p right there and we look at pin 12 good 15.7 kilohertz signal looks good and then we go to 11 nothing and then barely anything on out on the output basically so either my switch is bad or my amp is bad so if we look and it could be either one pulling it down I might need to clip a line or something but if we look at this one was that 1p 1p pin 9 and 10 8 that's pin 9 So I'm thinking the amp is bad. I'm just going to piggyback an amp real quick. All right, I piggyback the amp, and actually the screen looks a lot better. But let's look at pin 12. That's pin 12. Pin 11. That's much better. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. That's pin 10. It should be higher, but pin 12 looks better when I piggyback that. Let's see if I can get it off of there. Let's look at pin. Yep. Without the amp working, it's dead. That's pin 11 on 2P right there. Dead, dead, dead. Let me replace this LA, this um, 324 here. Okay, got the replacement 324 in there. It's a LM 324. Power that on. Uh, does it look better? <laughs> Doesn't really look better. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, pin 12, 11. It almost seems like it's too high or something. I oh, I definitely have red control. Hmm. Is that normal? I'm gonna have to adjust with the colors here real quick. Yeah, something's not right. I don't know if I'm looking at pin 11. See how high it is? It's way up the top of my um, graticule there. And if I look at blue, that's what it should look like on pin 11. Like right around 4 volts. I'm, it's like being overdriven somehow. And I don't, I don't know why. I need to look at the maybe the input of the amp. Let me try a different amp real quick. Alright, I'm... Let's see, I'm getting somewhere. Let me go on this page here. Basically, I'm looking at the voltage right here on this red circuit. If I can see what I'm doing. Um, basically, there's this resistor R23 that is tied to a positive voltage. I'm going to show you that in a second, what voltage it is. It's like 11 volts or 12 volts. And then that gets goes to 10K, this R21, which is a 10K resistor. Um, and then that goes from this transistor. So this transistor Q7 and Q15, I guess, kind of are doing something with this side of R21, which then ultimately feeds into 
the amp. And if I look at it, something is definitely not right. So here's my capacitor right there at by R. This is C7. And we have 11 point... 11.8 volts, so like about 12 volts, right? And then if I come to R23, right there, hopefully you can see that. No, that's not it. R23? This is R23, right there. We have 11 volts. It's not on the screen. And then if I come to this side of R21, which is tied to that R23, it's dropping to 0.8 volts. And then if I go to the other side of R21, right there, I get almost nothing, which is wacky. So either something's wrong with this resistor or something's wrong with one of those transistors is what I'm thinking, so. Let me go ahead and probably poke around and maybe remove those transistors and see what's going on. All right, I'll catch you up because I was troubleshooting different things. I pulled, I think, Q15, Q7. These are PMP transistors, tested those out of circuit. I tested R21. It's reading a little bit low, like 9.8K, but it's fine. And then I was like, well, I also pulled out this VR3 and tested that. All those look good. I tested a couple of these caps. They weren't shorted or anything. I couldn't figure it out. So I just said, let me go ahead and swap out this 4066. Since this was bad, you know, who knows what it was doing, you know, to this other chip or something. Or maybe this was bad, which caused that to be bad. But let's look at pin 12. That's what we look like. It's normal. Pin 11, that's what we should see right there with the voltage, average voltage around three volts. So you can see like peak to peak is around, you know, almost four volts or, or so, three and a half volts. And there's our pin 10, which is right around four volts. So, and that matches our blue. So much better. The picture looks great. My red is adjustable, as you can see here. There's my red, you can see the red lines. And now my blues and everything looks good. Much better. All right, that's fixed. Ended up being both the LM324 or the op amp and the digital switch right there, so. CMOS switch. Alright, that's it guys. Another Nintendo versus repaired color issues. Cheers.